in Mexicali are relying heavily on donations after seeing a drastic decrease since the pandemic began. News 11's Giannella Giglino joins us in the studio tonight with an inside look at what's happening inside those shelters. Giannella. Central American countries of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador are among the world's most dangerous countries. The homicide rate is nearly five times what the World Health Organization considers an epidemic. This has led to millions commencing a dangerous journey on foot with children, babies with the hopes of escaping death only by walking straight through it. Pues cuando yo salí de mi, de mi casa, pues salí sin pensar, ¿va? Por, la, por, por lo que a mí me habían hecho y, y por lo que le querían hacer a él, pues. ¿Qué Entonces, le querían hacer? O sea que querían, como yo no podía pagar lo que a mí me estaban pidiendo, me, podían, me querían matar a él. Hay una crisis de país enorme, enorme. El trabajo máximo la educación, eh, con la cuestión del área en salud, o sea, no, es difícil para uno que de una escala baja eh, no contamos a veces con recursos para tener un hijo en una escuela privada. Es súper, súper difícil. Adel says he left Honduras with his oldest son and hasn't seen his daughter or wife in seven months. Eso para mí ha sido muy duro, muy duro, muy duro, porque realmente nunca me he separado de ellos. Eh, 12 años juntos. De vivir con ellos minuto a minuto, día tras día, y ya siete meses se me han hecho eternos. Eh. Under the table, jobs in Mexico only pay a couple of U.S. dollars. That's why shelters like this rely heavily on donations. The summer temperature can exceed 115 degrees, which makes donated pools like these so necessary. Imperial County man Robert Holzman organized this donation. Uh, you know, we hear about refugees. Uh, fleeing horrible situations, violence, war, all over the world, uh, whether it's Africa or Asia or the Middle East. And, hey, these people, these people have left one of the most violent uh, areas in the world in Central America. <clears throat> really, uh, there are people without a country. They can't go home and they can't uh, uh, come into the United States yet. Uh, and really, Mexico is not, the government of Mexico is not doing anything for them. Holzman says he just wants them to know they are welcome here. Uh, they're uh, tough people here, uh, and uh, they've come a long way. Uh, we, uh, we want to encourage them. Uh, hey, they, they came this far. Uh, the promised land is just across the border. Be patient. Uh, uh, we're going to get them to safety, uh, let them start a new life. Many asylum cases have been put on hold because of the pandemic. No hay ni un país seguro, pero lo sé, pero sé que estamos lejos de las personas que nos quieren hacer daño y, y tal vez ahí él se va a sentir libre y va a ser más seguro. If you would like to know how you can help, log on to our website, kyma.com. Reporting in studio, News 11, Janela Giglino, Brandon, back to you. Janela, thanks. We're actually going to send things to Rob with the first look.